welcome back to my channel. So today I thought that I would film a video on my November favourites and I wanted to do this video because I didn't do a favourites last month. I'm pretty sure that the last favourites I did was just a random current favourite so I really wanted to film a November favourite. Even though I don't have that much stuff and some of the stuff that I have are actually rediscoveries that I've just sort of found again over the last um, like month or two months. And I've just been using and liking. Um, so yeah, but anyways, do you like my top? I just got it from Cotton On. It's got like a cross on it. I really like the colour. <laughs> so moving on, um, the first thing that I want to start off with is the Garnier Simply Essential Soothing Eye Makeup Remover, which looks like this. And it's just basically a general eye makeup remover. Um, it has no perfume, no alcohol, no colorants, and it's suitable for sensitive eyes. I do find that I get kind of sensitive in the eyes when I'm using a makeup remover. So I do like this one. Like it doesn't kind of leave any like weird residue or make my eyes itchy or anything like that. So I have been liking it. It's not like the best eye makeup remover as I said that I've ever used, but it's, it is okay. But I would repurchase this again. I do think it's a pretty good eye makeup remover. So I've been liking that and I did purchase that this month. Um, next product. This is kind of a random product, but I really like it. And it's once again like makeup remover. I use baby wipes to remove my makeup just because it's cheaper and they come in like a bulk pack. These are the Comfy Bots Baby Wipes um, 80 pack and they are sold at Coles. Um, they just look like that. I know baby wipes, like some people might say that they're all the same, but these ones are really good. Um, I have tried other ones that have either been like really dry or like really thin and they've kind of like ripped apart as you're taking off your makeup. These have a really good kind of like size, I guess, to them. Like they're not too thick, but they're not too thin either. And they're really moisturizing. They do take makeup off pretty well. Um, so yeah, I've been liking these. I would definitely repurchase these. And another skincare product I've really been liking this month is the Redwen um, Sensitive Skin Vitamin E Cream with Evening Primrose Oil. And it just comes in a jar like this. Um, the reason I've been liking this is because I think in the summertime my skin tends to get a bit dehydrated. I don't drink a lot of water, which I know is really bad, but I've been using this at the night time and sometimes in the day if my skin feels like really dry or just really dehydrated. And it makes my skin like glow. It makes it look really, really dewy um, when I wake up in the morning. It just looks healthy. So I've been liking this. Um, I used to just use it like at night because I used to use my other daily like Garnier moisturizer in the morning, which I still do, but I have been liking using this. It's just made a bit of a difference to my skin as I can like tell. So yeah, I've been using that. I have had this for um, a while, but it's kind of like a rediscovery because I stopped using it for a while because I was using my Garnier one and then I started using it again this month and I've really been liking it. So that's that. Okay, um, I probably should put this one in because it's like a bit of a random favorite again. This I know this is like really random, but I've actually been really liking this. It's a Palmolive Naturals Refreshing um, Hand Gel. It's just basically like hand soap, but it's in the scent Pink Grapefruit. And this smells exactly like pink grapefruit, like um, the Clean and Clear Pink Grapefruit. Is it Pink Grapefruit? Pink Clean and Clear? I'm not sure. There's like a Pink Grapefruit um, skin like thing. Actually, I think it's from Neutrogena, but it smells exactly like that. And it just smells really nice and refreshing. I always love washing my hands with this. So that's just a random favourite to put in. I've really been liking that this month. Um, I'm not sure whether I included this into my current favourites that I did um, the last time I did like a favourites video, but I have been liking it this month. And it's the Maybelline Mineral Powder Power um, Foundation. And I'm in the shade Classic Ivory um, Light. I think I mentioned this in my top 10 um, products I would repurchase tag. But the reason I've been liking this is just to use as my foundation because it's like really hot here at the moment. Um, instead of using a foundation or even a BB cream, I've just been using this. I tend to apply like my moisturizer or my other moisturizer and then spritz my face with um, a, like makeup setting spray and then put this over the top or even use like an oil, like bio oil. And it just makes me look like I have good skin. It doesn't look like I'm wearing anything on my face. And it does have really good coverage. This one is a little bit too dark for me at the moment. Um, but because it's like summer, I'm just going to stick with it because I'll probably get a bit more tanned anyway. But I have really been liking this product um, this month for like my everyday foundation. And I don't really use mineral powder as my like go-to foundation kind of thing because I feel like it makes my skin feel a bit dry. But for the summer seasons, I've really been liking this. 
another product I've been liking once again. I don't think I mentioned this in my current favourites, but if I did, I'm really sorry. Um, this is the Nude by Nature Soft Focus Illuminator. And it looks like this. It's just basically a liquid highlighter. And it comes in a like peachy um, gold colour. And this is basically like a highlighter. You can use it over your foundation or underneath your foundation. I don't find that it really does anything in terms of that. But what I like it for is a primer. It Because of the colour, it really evens out my skin tone a lot. Which means like putting makeup over the top is just way easier. Like it has better coverage. And um, it's kind of sticky, so I like using it underneath my foundation to use as a primer. But the main reason I like it is because it kind of acts as a, um, like, it evens out my skin tone. Next product is a blush. Now, I'm pretty sure I did mention this in my current favourites video because I was liking it back then, I'm pretty sure. But it's the Face of Australia Blush in Terra, which basically just looks like this. And the colour is like a really um, beigey kind of just like a neutral peachy kind of colour. It's just like a beige, basically. I've been really liking this. It looks really natural. Like, it looks like... I don't know. I find these sorts of colours look really good on my skin in a, like, kind of comparison to a really, like, light pink or a peachy pink. I find these kind of work a little bit better, these colours. And um, I just really like it. It really warms up my face. It kind of acts as a bronzer. So I've been using this quite a lot. It's really pretty, so... I love this. To lip products. This month I've been a lot more into lip products than any other makeup item. So the first one I've been liking is um, another one from Australis. And this is the Colour Inject Mineral Lipstick in the shade Honky Tonk. And I don't know if you can see the name because I'm pretty sure it's always upside down. Um, I don't know why that is. But the shade basically looks like this. And it's like a peachy, corally kind of colour. Um, it's really, really pretty. It looks really, really good on tanned skin. So if you're kind of like, I mean, it looks really good on all skin types, but it looks really good on tanned skin. And it's kind of like, it has like an orangey undertone to it. I just think it's really pretty. Another lipstick from Maybelline. I love this lipstick so much. I've only worn it a couple of times, but I've really rediscovered it this month. It's so gorgeous. It's from the Color Sensational range, and it's in 155 Party Pink. And it's just basically like a really, really plummy kind of colour. This would be perfect for fall if I was actually in fall, like most other people. But um, I just really like it. I've really been kind of into like wearing brighter and darker lip colours this month. Um, for some reason, I don't know why. I think it's because a lot of people I watch on YouTube are in like the fall season and they're all wearing darker lips. So I feel like I want to do it too. But it's this colour right here. It's just really pretty. Um, it looks really nice with a, just a really neutral eye. And um, it would be really great for like the night time, like if you're going out somewhere or whatever. But I just really like it. Um, it looks very sophisticated. And then I have a lip balm. Now, I don't know if you can like buy this um, individually. You probably can. But it's from a brand called Coral Colours. And it's just their orange lip balm with SPF 15. It's in a, look, a little tin which you just slide across. And then it looks like this. This smells really nice if you kind of like that like orangey um, or fake orangey scent to it. I didn't actually buy this, I got it, it was in like a magazine kind of thing, um, just like as a free gift. But it's really moisturising and it tastes really nice, it's perfect for summer if you are in summer. And it's just like a really nice um, lip balm, as I said it's kind of good that it has SPF, I don't know what the SPF is exactly. But I've really been liking it. I use this like during the daytime and even before I go to bed. And it's just really nice. I just have it on my um, bedside table. And then the last two products are two lip butters which I purchased this month. Um, actually, I think I purchased these in October, like at the end of October. But I love Revlon lip butters. Um, if I could have the entire collection of Revlon lip butters, I probably would. The first one I picked up was Creme Brulee. And I only got this because... Um, Anna from the Style Diet, I seen her wearing it and I thought that it well, like really showed up on her skin and I didn't think that it really would because, I don't know, I just thought it was something like when I seen the colour before for like darker skin tones. But it's basically just a um, beigey brown colour and I don't know if it'll show up on a swatch but it just basically looks like this. It's really, really pretty nude. It is kind of beigey but it's not like a brown horrible colour. Um, so I've been liking that a lot this month. It's a really, really pretty nude. And the other one I've been liking is Cherry Tart. I have been loving this one. I've been wearing it so much. This is, um, 070 Cherry Tart. And this one is just basically a red. The reason I got this one, I was going to get, um, 
that's it there. I was going to get um, Candy Apple, but I liked this one better because it was more of a kind of, uh, I don't know, like a, a pinky red, whereas I found Candy Apple to be kind of like a, I don't know, like a deeper red. So anyways, I really, really like this, and I would definitely repurchase this if I ever run out of it. I really like wearing, like, sheer reds. I don't like reds that are too in-your-face, like lipsticks. That's why I really like the Revlon Lip Butters. So anyways, that's basically it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and you got some ideas of things that you might like to purchase. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.